Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? So so. So so. Why so so? Uh, because I work too hard, too difficult. Yes. Too much. All right. Good evening. I see Isaac and Andrea. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Rodrigo. <laughs> Good evening, René. Good evening, Isaac. Good evening, Andrea. How was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Was so tired. So tired. So stressful. <laughs> So busy. Yes, I know. These days are hard. Tough, yeah. tough, 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 tough day. But the worst is Friday always. Really? Yes. At work, it's always heavy. I have to go out of San Salvador every oh, Friday. Oh, really? You have to drive out of San Salvador. Yes. And what are the cities that you usually visit? San Miguel, Santa Ana. And San Suntepeque, Ilo Vasco, really? San Vicente, Zacate, Cojute. I am from Ilo Vasco. My family lives there. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful city, <laughs> but the traffic is terrible in the boulevard. I yes, know. I know, and it's it's really hot sometimes. It is really tired. Oh, I see. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yo pensaba que como estaba en alto, yo dije, ay, tal vez es fresco. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, it's because there are hills, but it's hot. It's really hot. Porque generalmente los pueblos están como en los valles, entonces no uh -huh. están en las partes altas. Las partes altas, de hecho, de cabañas están deshabitadas. It's empty. Sí, es cierto. Igual yeah. incluso en Sensunte, ese está un poquito más arriba, pero es caliente, still, caliente, yeah. horrible. Still hot. Very sí. hot. Y aún hay yeah, una ciudad hot. que dicen que aún es más caliente, que creo que es Ciudad Dolores. Sí, es cierto, un, un doctor really me estaba hot. diciendo eso, me dice, ahí es peor todavía, si aquí no lo aguanta, ahí es peor que San Miguel y yo. <ríe> no. Pero es que, exactly, está conectado con San Miguel. Uh -huh. Sí, porque dice que ahora estén como en hoyo esa. Uh -huh. Y desde ahí pasa la longitudinal del norte y puede irse a San Miguel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así me dijeron. Es far, far away, ya casi llegando a la casa de Trek. <laughs> what do you say hoyo in English? A hole. A hole. Yes, it's a hole. <laughs> Literally. Ah, pues qué bueno que conoce mis tierras. <laughs> so you drive by my towns, my cities. My my family is originally from Sensunte. But now they oh, live, nice. they live in Iloasco. It's closer to the to the to the capital. Mm -hmm. My parents live actually 62 kilometers from here. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes, cabal eso me me tira <laughs> mi way de aquí de mi casa para allá. Yes, that's right. But it's nice. Well, it's nice to see you everybody. Almost finished. Four more classes and this is over. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> so today, Thursday, Friday and Monday. That's it. Okay. So let's get started. Let's see what we have for today. What's the plan for today? Well, today is. Uh -huh. <laughs> today is Wednesday. Wednesday is August. 24, mm -hmm. 20, 2022, 20, right? Yes, that's right. Wednesday, August 24th of 2022. That's right. Any birthday today? ¿Alguien está cumpliendo años? No. <laughs> no birthdays, no cakes, no party. Hmm. In my only, job. Only work. 
only working. In my job yesterday was my friend's birthday. Yeah. It's they, cake. Yes, they had a lemon pie. Yes, <laughs> and a good lunch. Yeah, they had rough, rough meat, rough beef, actually. Yes, that's what they say. And lemon pie. And lemon pie. Good surprises. <laughs> so yesterday was yeah the it teacher birthday and today they had another celebration because of of her birthday so my students bought her pizza that was really good well the class for today the topic is how to use there is and there are with quantifiers yesterday we studied the vocabulary related to places in the city places in town like hospital, hotel, university, park, bus stop, bus station, pharmacy, shopping malls or malls only, right? So we started, now we're going to locate these places in the city by using there is and there are, and there are, sorry. There is is for one, that's for singular. There are is for two or more, for plural. For example, you say, oh, I live in a small town. But there is a park, there is a bus station, there is a church, there is a city hall, there is one. And then you say, oh, there are many restaurants, there are some markets, there are two supermarkets, okay? So when you talk about singular one, you say there is I, there are Hay también, pero en plural, varios. There are many, there are some, algunos, varios, muchos. Yes? Or you can say the specific number. There are two hospitals. Yes? There is one shopping mall. So this is what the class is going to be about. And at the end of the session, participants will be able to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. Uh -huh. And we have some vocabulary related to yesterday. We practice lots of this vocabulary. But in the meantime, I bet everybody got connected. I see Edith <laughs> with a panda bear on her blouse. I see Edgar, very serious. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Keith. Where are you from? Are you from El Puerto? Are you from Santa Ana? Uh, I'm from uh, Zaragoza. Ah, you are from Zaragoza, you see? On the way to El Puerto. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, nice. And Jocelyn, where are you from? I'm from San Salvador? Yes. All right, nice. Yes, because I still remember some people that are from Chalchuapa, I think, or from Santana. Some other people are from Santa Tecla, from Lourdes. Oh, working in Lourdes. Some other people are from San Salvador. Oh, some other people are from Sayapango. Yes, I know. I remember from the first class. Yes, Margarita, welcome. Okay, let's have the attendance. Thank you. All right. Alice, no more. No more, no more. Marce, no yet, right? Me dijo que no se iba a poder conectar porque se cayó la mamá oh, hace un ratito y le tocó ir de emergencia al hospital. To the hospital. Y que no se iba a poder conectar. That's sad. Yes. My mom fell on Mother's Day. Imagine. She had an accident on Mother's Day. Uh, yes, thank you for informing. Okay, so we're going to add a comment. In accident, right. Okay, then we have Andrea. Present. Blanca. Blanca no ha llegado aún. 
no yet. All right. Diana. Edgar. Present. Present. All right. Edith. Present. Fernando. Present. Gabriela, not here. Margarita. Margarita, I saw you. <laughs> Hans. Hans, 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 not yet. Not here. Okay. Let's see. Isaac. Daniel. Present. Jocelyn. Manuel Alberto. Present, Miss. Hi. Oscar René. Present, Miss. Raúl Enrique. Not here today. Rodrigo. Present. And Sandra. Sandra. Present. Hi. Present. <laughs> Casi le pongo absent. <laughs> Not present. All right. Good, 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 good. Bye. Déjenme compartirles las páginas que estaremos viendo de su manual. Give me one second. Here we go. Bye. Aquí. In esta page, on page number 42, inicia este topic. Que sería el uso de there is and there are. How to use there is and there are. Para que nos ubiquemos, ¿verdad? Obviamente vamos a estar como moviéndonos un poquito hacia atrás por el repaso de las clases previas. Y el vocabulario que se va a necesitar, obviamente, para formular oraciones usando there is y usando there are. Para los que... Si ya no escucharon, there is, es para singular, cuando hablo de una cosa, y there are, es para plural, de dos o más. Obviamente, esta la traducción literal es hay. O sea, no hay de dolor, sino que hay, existe. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? There is. Ajá. Ve a ver. ¿Ok? There is. Ustedes, ah, es que en mi vecindario, en mi neighborhood, hay una tienda. There is a store in my neighborhood, right? Or this ah, también hay un parque. There is a park in my neighborhood. Yes. Y obviamente, si van a hablar ya como de una ciudad, de un pueblo, o de los lugares cercanos a su lugar de trabajo también, o se dice, oh, there is a gas station near my work. There is a mall near my work. There are two restaurants across the street from my work yes so for this usamos el there is y el there are Obviamente, teacher on, yes. on the question mm -hmm. pero también el there there are quiere decir hay pero hay varios mm -hmm. así es exactly mm -hmm. okay Bye. y los que igual quizás no tuvieron la oportunidad de estar ayer o no se percataron, en esta lesson, en la lesson anterior, a lo que le acabo de mostrar, la página anterior, page 41, ya presentan o introducimos a este tema a través de una conversation, que está acá, como cuando usted anda buscando un lugar, usted es nuevo, en una ciudad o en la en alguna área, y usted dice, ah, me podría informar, me podría ayudar, me podría decir si hay un, un banco por aquí, por decir algo. Y le dicen, sí, hay un banco a dos cuadras de aquí o enfrente de tal lugar, ¿ya? Entonces, por eso usamos también esta estructura. Obviamente, no es el único uso, ¿ya? Puede tener mucho más uso. Por ejemplo, en tu casa te dice, ah, es que hay cuatro cuartos en mi casa. Puedo usar también el there is o el there are. There are four rooms in my house, ¿ve? Entonces, oh, hay un, qué sé yo, hay una refri en mi trabajo, en mi oficina o en la cocina de mi, de, 
De la oficina podría ser, okay. There is a there is a kitchen in my work. Oh, there is a refrigerator in my office. I don't know. O hay un área de comida, qué sé yo. All right, Andrea. Es solamente para uso de objeto. No se puede usar con personas. Uh -huh. O sí. Sí. Usted puede decir, oh, there is a new secretary in my work. Mm -hmm. Hay una nueva secretaria, ¿no? Sí. Ah, ok. Siempre cuando se quiere decir eso, hay. Hay alguien, hay algo. Hay algunas cosas. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bueno, going back, ayer vimos, obviamente, el uso de los prepositions, right? We study in, on, at, pero ya con prepositions of place, ya lo habíamos visto con prepositions of time, entonces obviamente nos sirvió para, como para ubicarnos un poco, porque la primera lesson era un map, ¿verdad? Y diferentes lugares. All right. Veamos, I'm on my way home. Raúl va a camino a casa. All right, thank you for informing me. Ok. Bueno. Para el caso, solo regálenme un segundito. I just want to check something, double check something. Uh -huh. Yes, acá estamos. Vale, para iniciar a calentar motores y practicar el vocabulary. A game, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Nada más si nos furula esta cosa. Let's see if it works. Vale, generalmente en libros en textbooks o cualquier otro material para aprender inglés lo van a presentar así como places around town ok veamos let's see Andrea, what number do you choose? number two number two uh -huh. tell me letter C hospital Correct. <laughs> okay. Rene, choose a number. A number nine. Number nine. All right. Tell me. Oh, uh, there is a park. Correct. All right. Edith, say a number. Number three. Number three. Uh -huh. Toy store. Toy store. Yes, correct. All right, perfect. Daniel, choose a number. Number 11. 11. All right, tell me. Supermarket. Supermarket, exactly. Margarita, say a number. One. Number one. Teacher, pero yes. de debemos decir siempre el there is o el there are. No, <laughs> o sí. En este caso, ya más que solo es el vocabulary, pero si usted lo quiere usar, es fine. Practice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Margarita. What can you see? Restaurant. A restaurant. An empty restaurant. Okay. Yeah, there's a restaurant to be. Okay. All right, Edgar. Ten. Ten. All right. What is it? That is a uh, zoo. A zoo. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Fernando. Hi. Which number? Um, uh, five. Five. All right. What can you see? Bakery. There's a bakery. That's right. Okay. Blanca. 
Choose a number. Six. Number six. All right. What can you see? Is um bookstore. There's a bookstore. Perfect. All right. I think uh Sandra. <laughs> Eight. Number eight. All right. What can you see? A police station. A police station. Are you sure? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Isaac. We're going to give Isaac the chance. That <laughs> Which one? 13. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a public pool. All right. I think it is a public pool. All right. Jocelyn. Mm, seven. Seven. What is it? Post office. Must be a post office, right? Uh -huh. Who else? Rodrigo. Let me see. Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Bank. I think it's a bank, right? Okay, nice. Manuel? Uh, number 12. 12. Mm -hmm. uh, library. Library. Must be a library. library. Yes. And the last one. Let's just speak somebody. Hands. Diana. <laughs> yes. A soccer field. It must be a soccer field. Ooh. All correct. Nice. All right. Awesome. You are good players, my see. Well, of course, if you want to use the structure, as Renee suggested, there is, there are, right? Of course, there was only one of each, so you only have to use their ease because was, I mean, all of the places were in singular, right? Okay. Well, let's see. Yes, Hans is present. Let me just get his attendance. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, right here. Okay. Let's see. In your neighborhood, in su lugar de donde residen, neighborhood, como Robin Hood. Okay, neighborhood. Le voy a poner la palabra en el chat para que la recuerden. Pero van a escribir una oración usando there is y una oración usando there are en el chat. ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué lugares? Puede ser park, soccer field, stores, gym, church. ¿Qué lugares hay en su lugar de residencia? En su neighbor, en su vecindad, en su... ¿Qué podría ser otra? Colonia, community. Uh -huh. There is a church. There is a park in my neighborhood. There is a supermarket in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. Nice. There is a gym. Uh -huh. What else? Podríamos usar también en plural. There are some shops. Uh -huh. There is a playground. There is a bakery. Uh -huh. There is a bakery. <laughs> so you live near the bakery. Oh, yes, in the neighbors. In the colonia, generalmente hay una bakery. Sí. Yeah. 
There is a pupuseria. No? <laughs> there, there are. Okay, there is a gym and a park. Ahí tendría que ser in singular. There is a gym porque no son dos gyms, right? Si fueran two gyms, three gyms, ahí sí. There are a lot of pupuserias, exactly. Uh -huh. What else? There is a zoo. Wow. Interesting. No, digo, where do you live? <laughs> I think he lives near the zoo. There is a clinic. Uh -huh. There is a hospital. Mm -hmm. There is a shopping mall. There is a supermarket. There is a gas station. There is a bus stop, right? There is a school. Yes, in the place where I live, there are a lot of schools. Give me one second because the rain starts. I just need to close the door. One second. ¿Alguien sabe cómo tengo dos chats activados aquí? Hay uno arriba y otro abajo. No saben cómo se quita. <risa> Le tiene que salir como una pestañita a un ladito. De, como para cerrarla. Mm, no sé si habrá esta cosa, pero no, vamos a ver. Close. ¿Y cómo es que tiene ah, abierto? Sí. Ah, do... Ya, ya estuvo. Sí, a saber qué me dice. <risa> ¿Qué ¿Qué le was, what was the problem? <risa> Tenía dos pantallitas de chat y escribían todos al mismo tiempo. ¿Really? Sí. Mm, es que Pero, puede escribir un chat para todos o puede ser un chat directo. Ajá, dirío a alguien en específico. Ustedes saben. Pero, Pero si me preguntan cómo lo hice, no sé. Ahí justamente <risa> en la flechita donde va a escribir. Mm, puede ser uh -huh. to everyone. O le extiende uh -huh. un menú de todos los participantes si usted le quiere escribir a alguien en específico. ¿no? Le puedo escribir solo a, un a alguien. Ah, uh -huh. oh. sí. Por eso dice to everyone or to somebody en específico. Pero solo aparece la mención, ¿verdad? O sea, si usted le escribe por decir algo solo a Margarita, solo ella lo va a ver. Pero si le escribe a mm. donde dice to everyone, ahí es to everyone. Mm. Mm. Ok, nice. No lo sé. No, no lo habían descubierto hasta que casi termina el curso. <laughs> There is a school. No, me estoy empezando, vamos. Por accident. Yes, no, it's ok. There is a town hall in my neighborhood. Nice, I said. Yes, in my neighborhood there is a flower route. Ok. ¿Vive en la ruta de la flor y blanca? How interesting. Invítanos, invite us. <laughs> Ahí por a, donde hay gravedad cero. Yes, it's, it's a beautiful uh -huh. place. Okay, ya no sé, there are a lot of tortillerías. <laughs> okay, there is a park near Margarita's house. There is a soccer field in Edgar's neighborhood. There is a church near Margarita's too. Nice. All right, perfect. Well, in the place where I live, there are many houses that are very crowded streets. <laughs> there are two or three bus stops. There is a factory. There are uh, some offices. Well, there are two or three factories. The factory, the first one is the, I guess, Imprenta el Conquistador, something like that, the, the one that make the notebooks. There's another one of construction. There are some stores. There is not a supermarket. The supermarket is far from here. 
and there is not a market the market is a little bit far well i am between two markets probably but yeah they are not very close there are some clinics from el seguro social Did, and, teacher you, yes. you live in uh, montserrat city no i live in between sacamil and mexicano ah okay <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah, where that, where do you live near sacamil between sacamil and mexicanos near san alfonso school you live close to me and you go to Ilovasco too <laughs> <laughs> probably we are neighbors okay <laughs> or maybe we were friends in the past now <laughs> probably mm -hmm. yes so i have if i want to go to a supermarket or to a market i go either to sacamil or mexicanos downtown mm -hmm. but here in the neighborhood there are not supermarkets or, or markets and there you used to <laughs> exactly, but it's in Mexicanos downtown. Como el centro Mexicanos. And now it's full of traffic. Full of traffic. Uh, the morning is a trauma. And Isaac knows. It's too. a disaster. Yes. <laughs> but in the afternoon, some people want to buy a elote loco and they stop the car and they buy a elote loco, you know? Some people don't care about this mess. Because mess I visit so. Mexicanos too for my job. Really? <laughs> yes, probably I have seen Andrea before. We have to go for a cup of coffee one of these days. It would be nice. All right. So let's move on. Let's continue. Let me see. Yes, we were practicing this vocabulary yesterday. You remember? Yes, of course. Okay. Now we have the opportunity to practice this conversation. This is a conversation that you have on your manual, on your book, right? So I'm going to read the conversation first, and then we are going to practice. Let me just get this little light to highlight what we are reading. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, so definitely the person is new in the area and is asking for some places he wants to go or he needs to go, right? So once again, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kent Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. I know there might be a lot of difficult words. Muchas palabras pueden ser como nuevas para ustedes y necesitamos practicar. It's okay. Yes, Andrea. What does mean Melbourne building? Melbourne building. Es como Melbourne es el nombre propio del edificio. Es como decirle, ¿usted sabe dónde está la Torre Avante? No. <laughs> o sea, ¿dónde están la, los edificios morados? Right for for the, for the is, doctor. <laughs> there is Melbourne. Melbourne is uh, the a ciudad, name. Uh -huh. The city, la segunda ciudad más grande de Australia. Mel yes, Melbourne. could be. Mm -hmm. Puede yes. ser que así le nombraron el, mm -hmm. el edificio. Yeah. Because building is uh, it's an edificio, right? Okay. Anything else? Pronunciation or meaning? Is coming. Eh, palabra 
Summer pie. Oh, some, something. 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 Yes, something else. Then necesito preguntar algo más. I need to ask, I have to ask you something else. Yes, tengo que preguntarle algo más. Is there a training center? Hay algún training center? There are a lot of training centers. Hay muchos centros de capacitación, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, what do you yes. say in English and Spanish interviews? Entrevistas. Ah, oh, okay. I have some interviews there. Tengo unas entrevistas ahí. Right? Yes. What else? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. ¿Algo más? No. Um, sure? Um, right. One more time. Lo voy a volver a leer igual ustedes van a leyendo, ¿verdad? With the microphone off, but go reading, okay? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. No problems. Okay, of course, you practice in pairs with a partner. Okay, let me see. Si quedan más de dos partners, ustedes igual se turnan, pues toman sus turns, take turns, right? Okay, here we go. Me dice si la si la no sé. Eh, ahorita solo, solo dame un minuto y oh. eh, ahora sí. Vaya, eh, vaya, si quieres comenzar vos por, para que vayamos a cabal, Will, yo voy a ser Tani. Ok, pues, hello, can you help me? Where is, where is the Melbourne, Val, Val, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Val, Val. Fíjate, quiero, quiero ver. Melbourne. Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Melbourne y la otra mis building building Melbourne building okay I don't live here don't worry there are four buildings which one do you need
Hola. Hola. I think Fernando has problems with the connection. If you want, I can practice with you. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Oops, wait a second. Alguien dejo de proyectar, wait. I'll look for the conversation. What else is Yes, sir. All right, continue. Uh, a girl told me to go to the building. I see you. Ahora ustedes dos. No, yo voy a ser Tania. Solo por ahora. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Can you help me where it is in Melbourne? Bobby, I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Uh, a girl told need to do go to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers in the building between Main and King Street. I have some some interview. Sure. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. Otra vez. Demon. Bye. Is there me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. 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 Ahora, Edith. Ahora usted inicia y Edith. Es Will y Edith es Tania. Okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Don't worry, don't worry. There, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I give to me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There, there are a lot of training center on the building between night and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Ahora English y entenderla toda. Sí. Okay. Vamos a ver si si lo decimos bien. Yo soy yo soy Will. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I get told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. 
thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is here a training center? There are a lot of training building between Main and King Street. I have sometimes some interviews. There's thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ahí está, vaya hoy, Daniel. Ahí está. Ahora le toca Will. con Daniel. Daniel, ok, bueno, Daniel. Soy hoy soy Will, yo, porque tú eras la vez anterior, eras el Tania, ¿no? Sí. No? Ah, dale, dale, entonces. Dale, yo soy voy a ser Tania hoy. Ah, va. Dale. Hello, can you help me? Girl. Ah, girl. Told me to put the, the building on my street. Building. Building, building. On main street. building on Main Street. Building on Main Street. Yes. I know it. It's down to the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> ¿Quién inicia ahora? Niña Blanca. Me. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you Ay, esta se me olvida. Something, something else. Something, something else is there a train center. There are a lot. I I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. ¿Estás listo, Raúl? Más o menos. ¿Quieres que lo repitamos nosotros? Sí, dale, dale, dale. Vaya, hoy yo voy a ser Will, vaya. Dale. Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask some. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, uh, it is uh, down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews, some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Vaya, mandaron ahí este ahorita unas preguntas para que las contestaran. No sé si ya les, ya les llegó. Oh, sí. How many Melbourne buildings are there? Ya vi que les dije. Vaya, vino la ticha. Salgamos del... Hello, what happened? Del... Este, ¿Cómo se dice edificios en inglés? Big, 
Ignore la U, solo diga be, building. Building. Ah, pues, era ahí. Build, building. Uh -huh. Incrédula. <risa> es que así le estábamos diciendo, pero no creía. Decía que no escuchaba así. Ay, es que creo que es medio sordo. Sí, sí. Escuchaba building. diferente. No, pero es building. Building. The Melbourne building. De que cuando le... yo lo oía diferente. Yo lo oía como... Ah... But it's e building. Building. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me, tell me. Eh, para contestar, vamos a, a ponerle así como there are. There is, there are, yes. Es, hoy me toca a mí, incrédula. <laughs> <laughs> Muy bien. Se despertó rápido. Yes, tienen solo que, que me, me, Solo que me desquité con una persona que no era. Ah. Así es el karma. Uh -huh. There is and there are. De acuerdo a la conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está el edificio? ¿La dos? Ajá, ¿Dónde? 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 Vaya, ¿quién le toca hoy? Del. You also yeah. have some questions. Okay. Yes, you have some questions about the conversation. Yes. Mm, yes. Conversation, yes. <laughs> questions? No, there are some questions. Hay algunas preguntas que les envié para que las respondan acerca de la conversación. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Que no tengo el. Oh, no ajá. tengo el. Vamos a ver. Ah, ahí está. How many? Yes. Melbourne. Many. Oh. Mm -hmm. Vamos a poner esas. Ok. Es que el sábado de la noche me dio cabezura, dice. Uh -huh. How many Melbourne buildings are. are... Ahí está. Hello. Hello. Hola. Queríamos consultarle. Esta semana es la última de clases. Y el próximo lunes estaríamos reponiendo la clase que no pudimos dar por la lluvia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. sí. Tenemos examencito al final. Yes. <laughs> examen. <Examencito. laughs> There's an exam on the platform. Yes. Yeah, pero van a tener el weekend para hacerlo. Ay. Suertudos. Nos va a favorecer. Yes. <laughs> ya completaron las questions. No. Solo hemos... Leímos Just varias practice. veces. Vaya. Igual les acabo de compartir unas cuatro que son las mismas del manual acerca de la conversación. Ok. Mm -hmm. Vamos a revisar. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ah, ya están, Rodrigo. Lo sé, le pone. ¿eh? No. Eso le contesta. I know it. Sí. I know, Fabiña. que no es de no sé. No es de, de saber. Ah, y, y cuando dice miss, yo sé eso, I algo know así, it. está haciendo referencia, o sea que eh, I know it, o sea que ella sabe lo que le está diciendo o comprende lo que le está diciendo eh, Will en, en, en el comentario anterior. 
Uh -huh. Ah. I know. It. Ah, uh -huh. okay. También podría ser interpretado como, oh, sí, lo conozco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, sí, lo conozco. Ah. Uh -huh. Left dijo que era izquierda o derecha. Derecha. No, izquierda. izquierda. Está bajando a la derecha o, o izquierda. Izquierda. Down the street ah, on the left side. Sí, al está lado bajando izquierdo. hacia la izquierda. A la, a la de izquierda. Ah, bajando sobre esa calle está o bajando. a la de izquierda. A la de izquierda. Ah, uh -huh. I know it. I don't the street on the left side. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Yes. Did you Entonces, answer the dice, questions? Sigue, sigue. Gracias. I have it to no, ask you right. something else. ¿Qué significa eso? I have to ask you something else. Tengo que preguntarte algo más. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Something que no es como de... Algo. Something is... Uh, algo más. Yes. Tengo que preguntarte algo más. Uh -huh. uh, as de pregunta. Uh -huh. Por eso dice, ask me a question. ¿Por qué ask me a question? No, ask me una pregunta. <risa> ah, pero ask se supone que de pregunta también. Sí, es un poco redundante, pero así se dice. <risa> oh, no. Todo está. Y le pregunta que si ahí es un centro de entrenamiento. Mm. Okay. Que si hay varios centros de, de, de entrenamiento de capacitación. Ah. Raúl, ¿a usted no lo deja entrar a la sesión? No, no, sí me dejaba entrar, pero ya cuando formó los grupos, este mm. me sacó, directamente ah, me terminó sacando. Yeah. Entonces, ya, ya ahorita que llegué a la casa fue que de que me logré conectar bien y, y, mm. y ahorita me ha puesto Nokia, G, no sé qué. Le voy a cambiar el nombre, no worry. Ya, yeah, okay. ya Raúl Campos. Campos. Uh -huh. Gracias. Yeah, no problem. There are lots of training. Ahí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? There are a lot of training. Uh -huh. Mis queridos diccionarios, there are lot of training. ¿Qué significa lot? Lots of training centers. Hay muchos centros uh, de capacitación. Ah, muchos. Yes. En, en el edificio uh -huh. que era que está es en medio de la cerca. calle Ajá. ah en medio ah en medio o sea entre oh. en este caso pero no en medio de la calle sino que entre tal calle y tal calle entre Main entre Street Main Street, Street and, ah uh -huh. entre Main ah okay uh -huh. Main and King of Street uh -huh. okay me diga la palabra between oh. between ah Between. 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 Sin la W. Y building. Y building. Es que la W y suena como una U. Uh, between. 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 Uh -huh. y, y building o building. Ahí ignoren la U. Solo digan uh -huh. building. Building. Ah, ok. O sea que yo se me nos enseñó bien. Yes. <risa> building. Sí, ella nos, está, nos estaba regañando. Viera, mis... Good teacher. Is a good teacher. <laughs> His teacher. Very strict. Is. Eso. <laughs> right. A good teacher. Assistant. His teacher very strict. Ok. Igual les compartí yes, yes, unas yes. questions que también tienen en el manual que hay que responder acerca de la conversación. Ah, exactly. Vale. Uh -huh. Esa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. How many marble buildings are there? Did you finish the questions? Yes. No problem. No. All right. Good. Terminamos, ¿verdad? Ojalá ya estén bien. <risa> Finish the questions. Sí. Sí las respondieron usando de is and there are. Sí. Ah, vale. Deben estar sí, bien. creemos que, que sí. Correct. Correct. Ya la tenemos. 
Y Manuel les ayudó. <risa> él solo sí. copió. Solo sí. tiene que <risa> Para convencer a él. Para de compañeras. Me cambio de grupo, digo. <risa> No, mentiras entre, entre los tres. No, no, no. <ríe> okay. Hasta, Ay, hasta ya los compañeros Hans están crucificando a estas pobres compañeras. Oiga, no. usted, usted empezó. No, no, no. Ya lo vamos a, a pedir screenshots y evidencia del trabajo. <ríe> Como cuando estábamos en virtual, ¿verdad? No sé si alguna vez hicieron home office y de todo les pedían screenshot. Ah, nada creían. Para corroborarlo. Oh, screenshot está aquí cuando estaba bañando, querían. Hello. Hello, hello. Me quedé con la palabra en la boca. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 Lo sacó el, el breakout room. <laughs> yes. The question, the four question. Four. You yes. didn't finish. Sorry. Algunos grupos ya habían terminado hace long, long time ago. All right. Okay. Ya la vamos a revisar. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Bueno, antes de revisar las questions acerca de, de la conversation, vamos a repeat the attendance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Espérenme. One minute, please. All right. Okay. Andrea. Present. Blanca. Miss Blanca, Isabel. Hi. Diana. Present, Miss. Edgar. Present. Edith. Present. Fernando. Present. Glenda Margarita. Present, Miss. Hans. Isaac. Present. Daniel. Present. Jocelyn. Present. Manuel Alberto. Present. Oscar René. Present, Miss. Raúl. Present. And Rodrigo. And Present. Present. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bueno, veamos nuestras respuestas, cómo nos quedaron a esta conversación. Luego vamos a practicar la conversación, pero ahorita veamos las questions. All right. How many Melbourne buildings are there? ¿Cómo deberíamos responder? There are four. There are four buildings. There are four buildings or there are four Melbourne buildings, right? Okay. Good. Wait. Bueno. How many questions are there? ¿Cuántas preguntas hay? How many questions are there? Three. Just three. three. 
find a thing on the right. I wanted to show, I, I thought there were more, there's a carry on mass questions, okay, no problem. There are four buildings. <laughs> buildings, all right. Number two, where is the building where Will wants to go? There is. There is. Uh -huh. Where is the building where B, where Bill or Will wants to go located? Number on Main two. Street. It is on Main Street. Okay, it's on. You should say Main Street. Uh -huh. Or the building where. Will wants to go, it's on Main Street. What do you say? Okay, how many training centers are there? Quantos training centers hay? A lot of. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of training centers. Centers, right? There are a lot of training centers. ¿Y dónde están? ¿Y where are they? ¿Y dónde están ubicados? Between the main and King Street. Okay. They are between main and main and King Street. And King Street. All right. Voy a quedar más así. Yes. Good. All right. Veamos. Así nos había quedado. No questions. No questions. All right. All right. Para efectos de practice. Yes. <laughs> Veamos con quienes estaban cada uno. Okay. En el group one necesito que digan la conversation Edgar y Diana. Ready? Edgar es Will and Diana is the lady, of course, right? <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. One, two, three, go. Tranquila, tranquila. Voy, voy, voy. <laughs> Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is not Melbourne building? I don't know. I, I don't live here. Don't worry, they are for a building. Which one do you need? A girl. So, we should go to Building on the main street. I know. It is down the street on the left side. Then I have asked something that is uh, a training center. There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview. Interview care. Thank you again. Bye bye. Woo! Claps. <laughs> All right. Next, Elite and Sandra. <laughs> Because we're three people in this room. <laughs> it's okay. Are you ready? Can I can? I don't know. Empiezo. Just decide. Mm -hmm. Action. Wait. Hello. Can you tell me where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Uh, here, tell me to go the 
building on Main, Main Street. I know it. It down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else in their training center. There are a lot of training centers on the building between May and King Street. I have some in therapy there. Thank you, a kind bye-bye. Again, again, bye-bye. All right, so I don't live here. Okay, that's the first sentence. All right, next one would be Daniel and the name. Ready? Okay. Hello. Can you help me? And where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. I don't live here. Um, no tengo el diálogo. <laughs> okay, that's the And the picture, Daniel? Um, no. No tiene. Te lo comparto. No. Bueno, okay, ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Empecemos mejor de. Let's start again. <laughs> start. Yes. Get ready. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. <clears throat> uh, which one do you need? I get a lot. Me, me too. Me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime, some, sometime else. Else. Uh, is here, is there a training center? There are a lot of, of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Now I can have the reaction. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see who else. Who else? ¿Cómo le quito entonces la compartida? ¿O la dejo ahí? Ay, déjenme. Sí. <risa> Todos están así, sí, que la puso. No voy a ir, déjenla un momento. Porque así puedo yo tener la reacción. Si yo estoy compartiendo, no tengo la reacción. ¡Oh! Eh, eso eh. lo acabo de descubrir. Yo. <risa> that's good, that's good. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Actually, it's very nice. Let's see, next group is, um, okay, we're gonna listen to Margarita and Blanca. Are you ready? Ready, go. Okay. Hello, can you tell me where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Uh, don't worry, there are four buildings, which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. And I have to ask you some time else, is there a a training center. There, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm. 
Thank you again. Bye bye. Awesome. And the last but not least, we have Fernando and Jocelyn. Había alguien más en ese grupo. Raúl. Entró Raúl después. Ah, uh, interesante. Ya de último. Ok, que se nos hizo Raúl. Apparently, he's not here. <laughs> well, anyways, Fernando and Jocelyn. Ok. Go. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Where is the Mabel building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thank you. I have to ask so I have to ask you something else. It's there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Twin Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Oh, good. No questions? No problems? Uh huh. No. Everything clear. Yes. Good. Well, thank you, Mr. Rene, for sharing the screen. Donde dice stop sharing, ahí le puedo dar un botoncito rojo al, al mover el menu. Ahí le va a aparecer. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> stop sharing. Exactly. Espérame que le di al otro lado, ahí está. Good. Wow. You see? Yes. Nice. Mr. Molina is learning about the the platform <laughs> yes if you do video yes. calls then you, you just have this tool that's nice okay well one second please i just need to double check what we are studying yes oh yes we do have we have it si quieren hacer otro juego van a poner en el chat i want to play a game ¿Cómo se llama este juego, Miss? ¿Cuál juego? El que estaba haciendo. Ah, I don't ah, remember. Ah, ah, ah. Ya después le voy a compartir el link, don't worry. Ah, I want to play again. Very good. Ajá. I want to play a game. Ok. Fuerte, eso no vale. <laughs> Extreme no vale. All right, I want to play a game. All right, nice. All right, aquí puede darse este fenómeno, fenómeno, perdón, que puede decir again, que puede decir de nuevo, quiero jugar de nuevo, o puedo o quiero jugar un game, right? Podría ser a game or again. Teacher, no sé cuál de los dos un CD. Y se puede decir one more time. Yeah, sure, okay. why not? Mm -hmm. De nuevo. Ok. <laughs> Eso escuché yo. Again. Again. Right. Yo también escuché como again porque como ya jugamos una vez. Ah, interesting. Sí, igual pues tiene sentido, pero sí, la idea era que dijeran I want to play a game. <laughs> But it's ok. Al menos estamos usando la palabra again. Nice. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. exactly. All right, let me see, let me see. Pero déjenme buscarlo. Let me get it, let me get it. Y puedo compartir esta pantalla. Ah, nice. Bye. Este game tiene que ver cuando vimos las occupations. Pero obviamente ustedes relacionan las occupations con los lugares de trabajo. Obviamente ustedes dicen, a doctor works in... In a hospital. factory. Uh -huh, in a hospital, right? Uh, an architect works in? Repeat, please. An architect works in? Ah, in the building. Uh -huh, in a construction building, right? Or in yes. a building under construction. Uh, pharmacist works in? 
pharmacy. In a pharmacy. Drug, or drug drug in store. a drugstore. Uh -huh. drug a teacher store. works in? In school. School or, school, 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 school or university. Exactly. A chef works in? The kitchen. Restaurant. <laughs> Yes, in a restaurant. <laughs> More too specific. <laughs> yes, the kitchen. Yes, right. A secretary works in the office. office. In the office, right. In a company. All right. So, ese tiene que ver con las occupations, pero porque las debemos también relacionar con los lugares de trabajo. Okay. So, let me share the screen. All right. Uh -huh. Apúrense que se va a pasar. <ríe> Díganme okay. que es. She is a scientist. A scientist. A scientist. Ok, no encuentro el scientist. Aquí está. Yeah. <ríe> Saved by the bell. Uh -huh. Police officer. Policeman. A policeman or a police officer, ¿dónde encuentro? ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es Ah. Veterinary. Vet? A vet or vet. a veterinarian. Yes. Vet. A vet. Es como la abreviación de veterinarian. Yes. Ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Actor. 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 Actress. <laughs> for a man is an actor. For a woman is an actress. Actress. Uh -huh. Actress. Cameron Diaz. Good actress. Fun. Yes. Photographer. Photographer. He's a photographer. Yes, he's a photographer. Doctor. 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 Her is a doctor. No. She is. She is the doctor. Oh, a child. <laughs> a child's doctor. A child. Yes. Lifeguard. Lifeguard. Ah, porque en todos lados dice lifeguard. Lifeguard. <laughs> Lifeguard, just a lifeguard. Baker. Baker. Just a baker. She works at a bakery. Baker. She bakes cakes or bread. Fireman. 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 Yeah, it's a fireman. Fireman. Like a Spiderman. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot. Oh, pilot. 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 Shoe maker. I make shoes. Yes, he's a shoe maker. <laughs> shoe maker. Oh. Gardeners. Garden. His. Farmer. 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 Ah. Yeah, like old McDonald had a farm. Farm. Chef cook. Chef. Chef or cook. He's a chef or he is a cook. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, bus driver. He's a bus driver. He's a bus driver. Exactly. He's a Uber. <laughs> now the, the yeah the modern version would be is a Uber. Uber. Mm -hmm. She's a mechanic. She's a mechanic. Yes, you pronounce like ka mechanic. Mechanic. Yes, it's a mechanic. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Is, yeah. there, is, is there is any 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 rule about the use for the um, the pronunciation the, of the ch? 
or the sound ch like a k or like a ch? Yeah, most of the time would be ch, especially at the end or at the beginning. With uh, the exceptions are mechanic, architect, archive, where the ch sounds like, but the 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 exceptions, but usually it would be ch. But uh, there is no. No, no way. Rule, no, there's right? not a there's not a uh, certain rule. Yeah, you just have to know the word <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So he is a dentist. dentist. Thank you. All right. Anytime. Dentist. Yeah. Nurse. 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 Um. El más difícil garden. Because okay. you only have a gardener. <laughs> All right. Perfect score. All right. <clears throat> nice. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's continue practicing. Give me one second. Oh my God. I got confused. Hold on. Oh, here. Okay, I'm going to project the PowerPoint. Pero, ustedes también tienen esto, la conversation y los exercises en su manual, ¿verdad? Y aquí está la explanation. La explicación de cuándo usar the is and the are. Okay, plus, plus es más, ¿verdad? Un signo más en, en matemáticas. Plus. How to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. There is is for singular. There are is for plural. Bye. The first sentence. Diana. Right. Mm -hmm. There are is some... Across the street, there is an ATM across ATM. the street. Across yes, street. an ATM, ATM is is a automatic transaction machine. Es un cajero. Mm -hmm. So there is an ATM across the street. Significa eso. Pues es, ah, hay un cajero al cruzar la calle, al otro lado de la calle. An ATM. ATM. Right. You say there's an ATM at the bank, right? There's an ATM at the gas station. There's an ATM at the pharmacy. Right? Okay. Next, Raul. There are is of John or otra persona. It's okay. Uh -huh. I'll continue. Yeah, I think Raul didn't listen to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. You así como que. What? <laughs> there is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Thank you. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. All right, Sandra. Uh, there's not clo clothing. Clothing? Clothing factory around the corner. That's right. There's not clothing factory around the corner. Dice, fijan, aquí tiene el no. Eso significa que no hay. Como tal, en esta oración decimos, no hay una fábrica de ropa, una fábrica textil a la vuelta de la esquina. Right? There's no clothing factory. Yes. ¿Por qué ese no no lleva la T? Podría llevarlo, pero es suficiente para decir there's no, no hay. <laughs> there's no clothing factory around the corner. Oh, there isn't. Generalmente lleva el como el not. O sea, como las dos opciones son posibles. Generalmente ponen el not cuando contractamos el there is not, there isn't. A clothing factory around the corner. Pero si lo dice de esta forma, también es posible. ¿Ya? 
Veamos, next. Uh, Edgar, in plural. Are you ready, Edgar? Problems, technical problems. <laughs> yes, no le escuchamos, no se preocupe. Okay, Fernando. Uy. Mm, I sleep. Mm. <laughs> ah. uh, there are a lot of companies down the, the, down the street. Yes, there are a lot of companies down the street. All right, Blanca? There are, there are some supermarkets on the right and in left side of the street. That's right. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. And Andrea. There are no hospitals on various street. There are no hospitals on various street. All right. Donde encontramos los quantifiers? Los quantifiers son palabras o expresiones que nos denotan una cantidad. Cuando digo a lot of, son muchos, a lot of. They say, oh, there are a lot of cars in the city. Hay muchos carros en esta ciudad. Yes? There are a lot of criminals in this city. <laughs> okay. There are some, hay algunos, no muchos, pero algunos, ¿verdad? There are some supermarkets. And there are no significa el, igual el negativo. Que no hay. Ningún hospital on Barry Street. Ok. Y en singular vamos a usar an or a. An, si la siguiente palabra continúa, inicia con vocal. En a, si la siguiente palabra inicia con consonante. ¿Estamos claros? Are we clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. Okay, somebody has a question, no? No. All right. Margarita? Perdón, es un zancudo que andamos ah, buscando. Okay. There is a mosquito at Margarita's house. Yes. <laughs> All right, no problem. Pensé que tenía una question. Vaya, no se preocupe. Complete this exercise. There is or there are. Ustedes tienen que saber cuándo va there is, cuándo va there are y si necesitan algún quantifier. Por lo general se los dan acá en paréntesis, ¿ok? So, vamos a trabajar en otros grupos de trabajo. Vamos a recrear esta historia. Let's do it now. Sí. Mando la teacher el... Sí, ¿va, ¿va a proyectar o lo contestamos así? No, proyectemos, no sé, quiero ver dónde cayó. Vamos a ¿En ver. El sí, aquí está. Ahorita lo paso. Pax, pax. Aquí está. Listo, ahí está. Complete, complete the exercise with. There is, there's. There is or there are. Quantifier. Vaya, ahí dice que son. 
Marketing presentation across the street al cruzar la calle, dice. Sería, ajá. Ah, en la mañana. Sería, there is a. Ahí sería, there is. Ajá, there is a. There is a market. Ahí se oye. Creo que sí. ¿Verdad? There is a marketing presentation. Presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En la segunda, there are, there, there, are, there are some business workshops. No. Esto sería, there's no. There is no. There are some, porque algunos. Ah, son ten. There is no. Teacher. Pastor Cornel. Yo creo que sí. Me. Are you there? No, no. Help. <laughs> Y esta sería... Las cinco dice banks. Son varios. There, there, there are, are bank. There are... There are... Banks behind the factory. There are... Banks... Around the building. Behind around the factory. Sería... There is, ¿verdad? Porque se dice there around the building. There is. There, there is. is. Paranza building around the corner. Miss, no está la Miss. De esta tengo duda. Si se le pone mm, en negativo o no. no. Pero no está. Si es negativo porque ahí está la no. Entonces... Ajá, no, no, si se le pone la A, aunque sea negativo. No hay... Mm. Mm. Yo creo que no va. Es que no sé. Sí, no, hay, no. No, hay, no hay tienda. O no está la tienda en la esquina de la avenida Rojo y la Sonia. Bueno, si no, cuando regresemos allá le preguntamos. <risa> ¿Por qué sí. no está? Porque. Yo creería que no la lleva porque there is a no store. No creo uh -huh. que there is a, a no a Tendría que ser. There is no a store in the corner. There is not. Entonces no tendría que llevarla. Ajá, no tendría que llevarla. Ah. Ah. Es que con menos there is, quiero ver aquí sale. Ver. Porque en el último, en el último del cuadrito aparece, ahí mismo lo puede ver, there is a, there is no Mientras regresa Rodrigo, si querés, este, Edgar, hagamos, digamos, completo. Vaya, la cinco sí sería, there, there are. There are, van. Ok. Ok, aquí sería, there, there are. Se me perdió el lapicito. Aquí está. There are. Pregunta. Ay, aquí está. Hello. Hola. Mira, estábamos este, preguntándonos. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, en la número dos, que está entre paréntesis la palabra some. Ese es, usted nos mencionó que era cuantificar algunos. Cuantifico. Algunos. Ah. Uh -huh. Es un quantify que significa algunos, denota alguna cantidad. Entonces, eso lo agregaríamos como. There, there are, are some. Son. Que ser, ajá, hay algunos. Ajá, sí. Algunas tiendas, algunos negocios en esta calle. Uh -huh. There are some business shops o workshops down the street. Okay. Gracias. All right. La número tres. Okay. 
nosotros son, están en plural, ¿verdad? Las tres. Number three, recruitment centers. Yes, plural. Para mí sería como there is no, there is no recruitment centers around my building. Okay. There is no. There is no. Miss, Miss, ya siento su pi por aquí. <laughs> finish or no finish? Ah, no, no finish. finish. No finish yet. La cuatro. Number four. Number four. Yo mm -hmm. digo que es there are. Yo digo que es there is. Store está en plural o en singular? Singular. singular. Entonces, there is. Viste. Ah. Uh -huh. There's no a store on the yeah. corner of Roosevelt. No hay una tienda en, la, en esa esquina. Pronto entonces, para allá. entonces, la tres es there are. Yes. Ah, there are no. no Dios, qué favor. Punto para Diana. Uh -huh. <laughs> Scoring, winning. <laughs> <laughs> y la ganadora es Diana. Ya le okay. entendí esto. La tercera, la quinta es. But they are. They are. They y are. la sexta, Aran's building around the hall. Ahí es The Army. The Aranza es una, building around the corner. El edificio de Aranza, uh -huh. around qué? Al, a la vuelta de la esquina, around the a corner. Uh, there ah, is. Pues, ah, pues no es, de, there is. Uh -huh. Finish. El there is es plus. Singular. Chica, ahí me pierdo. There is. Avanzar. Uh, ese. El building, ¿verdad? Building. 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 Around. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Ar around. 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 Uh, around. The corner. Cor ¿Cómo es? Corner. Corner. There is an around building around the across the street. Mm -hmm. See, there is, there is a marketing yeah. presentation across the street in the morning. Mm -hmm. Vaya, voy yo. Eh, there are some business workshops down the street. Mm. There are not recru recruitment centers that come at building. My building. There is a store on the corner, Crosswell Street and Sixth Avenue. There are banks behind the factory I work. The, there is a Lanza building uh, around the corner. Time. Ya estamos. Ya no van a llevar, dice. Todavía no, la damos una. ¿A por qué comienza? Cambiamos el orden, voy a comenzar yo. Oh, yeah. There is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There are some... Dale, dale, dale. There are business workshops down the street. There, there are some business workshops down the brown street. The the, okay. There are an recruitment center around my building. There are no. There are no. There are no. 
Um, there is not a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. The, there are there are bank buildings that factory where I work. There is a ransom building around the corner. Mm -hmm. Bye, si quieres comenzar vos, Edgar, cambiamos el orden. Mm -hmm. the, there is a market presentation across the street in the morning. There are some business workshops down the, down the street. There are no equipment centers around my building. There is not a store on the corner of the Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There are vans behind the factory I work. Uh, there is a Ransa building around the corner. My OC. No, sí. Podemos ir a que nos pregunte la teacher. This meeting is being... Hello. Hello. How are you? I am very fine. Nice. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Good practice. Very tired. Very tired. <laughs> yes, it's late already. It's almost 10. It's a long day and a short night <laughs> for sleeping. I am going to the sleeping. Ay, Fernanda, desde que empezó hasta que va a dormir. <laughs> From the beginning of the class, is falling asleep. All right, number one. There is, there are. There is. A there is a. All right, there is a complete. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. That's correct. Yes. Yes. Two. Yes. There no. are some. There are some. Correct. There yes. are some business workshops down the street. Yes. That's right. Number three. There are no. There are no. Exactly. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Or there is no. There is no. All right. There's not a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and 2nd Avenue. Yeah, aquí le podemos haber agregado no, right? No, no, pero no sé. So, porque es un singular. So, in singular, we usually add there is, a, or n. And in this case, would be, there is no a, to be. There's not a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and 2nd Avenue. Number five. There are. There are. Banks. There are banks behind my factory or the factory I work, right? There are banks. También le podemos haber agregado some banks. Pueden ser mm. some, son algunos, no una cantidad específica. No, no sé cuántos y, exactamente. Y there, there are a lot Oh, podría ser que eran a lot of banks también. Podríamos agregar algún quantifier. Siempre y cuando sepamos que hay muchos o algunos o varios. Right? But in this case, there are banks. Hay bancos. Right? No sé cuántos y muchos pocos, pero there are banks. And the 
Next number one. <laughs> there is there an. Is an. Uh -huh. There is an. ¿Por qué ponemos an? Porque inicia con a. Ajá, uh -huh. Aranza inicia con a vowel. So there is an Aranza building around the corner. Yes? No problems? No problemas? Easy peasy? Lemon squeezy? Okay. Perfect. Hmm. Bye. Aquí tenemos un example. Ayer se recuerdan que aprendimos este vocabulary. So, aquí obviamente lo que hay que hacer un poquito más de práctica. Aquí vemos primero la imagen, vemos que está un laundromat, que está un supermarket, que la calle es Main Street y que el laundromat está al lado del de supermarket, o el supermarket al lado del bank, al, al lado del laundromat, right? So, there's, o oh, there is, there is, contractado sería there's. Entonces decimos, there's a bank on Main Street. Is there a bank on Main Street? O sea, si usted tiene la oración afirmativa, ¿cómo transforma esa oración en una pregunta? Simplemente invierte el orden y dice, is there. There is, afirmando, is there, asking, right? So, imagine they are having a conversation. ¿Para dónde creen que va el chico? ¿Para el supermercado o para el laundromat? Laundromat. Obviously, hasta lleva el, el, el detergent ahí, ¿verdad? El sabite. <risa> y la basque. Ok, cuando no va al supermarket, a lo mucho lleva una bolsa. Los socks ahí, todos. Exacto, sus... todos los socks y los underwears. Vale, no, entonces... Yo no compro una despensa. <risa> commercial, Fernando. No voy a cobrar aquí por estar haciendo commercials. Vale. Excuse me, le pregunta. Is there a laundromat in this neighborhood? ¿Hay algún laundromat en este vecindario? Yes, le responde ella. There is a laundromat on Main Street. Next to? Supermarket. Next to the supermarket. ¿Cuál es la idea? Que ustedes ubiquen la calle que respondan afirmativamente y que digan dónde está el lugar por el que le preguntan. One more time. Excuse me, is there a laundromat in this neighborhood? Yes, there's a laundromat on Main Street next to the supermarket. Bye. Esto es como una conversación así sencilla, right? Entonces, pero imagínense que el chico no va para el laundromat, sino que le pregunta por el supermarket. Y le dice, excuse me, is there a supermarket in this neighborhood? ¿Qué le debería responder ella? Yes. Yes. There, there is There's a supermarket, supermarket on the laundromat. Next to, on next main to laundromat. Street. Next Ajá, to the exactly. Yes, there is a supermarket on Main Street. Sí, sí, hay un supermercado sobre la calle principal a la parte del laundromat. Yes, next to the laundromat. Solo es de invertir el orden, right? Solo es de substitute. Pero por cuestiones de tiempo, lo vamos a dejar hasta acá. Vamos a hacer este exercise tomorrow. Solo se lo voy a mostrar. I'm going to show you. So, tenemos que ir sustituyendo. Por mm. los lugares que están acá, por el lugar de la calle, aquí hay Central Avenue, tenemos State Street, State Street, pero si sí lo vamos a hacer tomorrow because of the oh. time. Y porque ya están tired, tired, tired. Veamos, attendance y la persona que les corresponde este día. Participate. Ok, Andrea. Press. Blanca. Present. Diana. Present. Edgar. Present. Edith. Present. Fernando. Present. Margarita. Present. Hans. Present, Miss. Sorry. Isaac, no problem. All right, Daniel. 
Present. Jocelyn. Present. Manuel Alberto. Present, Miss. Oscar René. Present, Miss. Raúl Enrique. Present. Rodrigo Enrique. Present. And Sandra. Present. All right, perfect. Entonces, este día le corresponde a... Veamos. Ajá. Y niveles de honestidad a Rodrigo. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Yes. Good tomorrow. Este será que lo puedo mover por otro día. Es que mañana tengo que madrugar para San Miguel y salgo okay. a las cuatro y media de la oficina. My goodness. No problem. Good night. Okay. Este, solo me dice mañana. Sería entonces para el viernes o para el lunes cuando reponga la clase. Ok, perfect. Sí, no, ser. no, dígame. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is fine. Oh, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.